Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So we've passed some time and we've moved on to June. And as you can see, the grass field has once again grown. It's fully grown. Uh, it's 100% fertilized. Yield bonus is 95%. Uh, so we could go in and just cut this again. Um, but we don't really want to keep repeating the same job. So really we're going to get a lot of grass aren't we I, I actually don't think we need to keep having grass we probably should start producing hay because then we can store it without it rotting away although yes it won't actually rot away in this game but it's just a bit more realistic to do that and yes then we don't have to um keep rushing into doing it and we could even if we get enough of it turn the lower section or the top section into a combinable crop so that'd be good but yeah, that's not ready to harvest yet. And the field over here, I have a new field. I did drill it in the previous episode. I don't know if it needs fertilizer. It is 80, it's sort of fluctuating, 86% fertilized. Oh, I see. It's the areas which we got the um, chopped straw on. So some areas didn't get covered with the straw from the combine. So those areas, ideally, need to be fertilized. So we do have the sprayer. Uh, it's a bit, well, it's quite wide, so it might be a bit wasteful. We don't have much liquid fertilizer left in the sprayer. We do have an IBC over there. Uh, I'm not too sure how much is in it. And the sheep really are producing a lot of wool now. It's getting good. Maybe we'll be able to buy another field pretty soon. But then, yes, we do need to make sure we can actually afford to buy the Ford tractor eventually, as it is going to be ours. It's currently rented, but I have rent to buy installed, so it's going to be ours one day. Or is it, what is it called? Rent to buy? Lease to buy? Something like that. I always forget. Yeah, it's going to be wasteful, I would say. Probably not worth doing this. Yeah, I, well, it's hard to say what's the best thing to do, really, because we have already got fertilizer on there. But then, if you add up all these areas which haven't had the second application, it might be quite considerable. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's see if we can empty the IBC. I don't want to. Ah, oh, we have done. Okay. Okay. It probably emptied it because I said I didn't want it to. <laughs> right, so we can... Yeah, we, we should have enough now to finish the entire field. Make everything as good as it possibly can be. I think, yes, it is the right thing to do, because we have such a tiny amount of land. I certainly don't want to cover more than I have to. I would say that is it. So we do still have 37% in the sprayer not it. Uh, right. So that we use this effectively, I'll position myself first. Yeah, and then hopefully just start it up, go across here, and then that will be it done. If it isn't, I'm not doing any more. It's just too wasteful. Yeah, it's good enough. Massive improvement over what it used to be. We have 35% left for a future field. So that's fine. And we should be harvesting in a couple of episodes time, I would say. So as we are waiting for those two fields to be ready, and we do have a grass field that's ready, really, we should be cutting it. I think I'm, I'm going to do hay. We'll do it as hay. Uh, not silage or anything this time. And the chickens over there might need some more food. They've actually produced a full pallet of eggs now, so if there is a good price for eggs, then we can sell them. Seems quite good. November's the best time. It's currently June. So it is the best it's going to be until at least October, most likely. Depends if we're desperate. Can we find a field which would be good to buy? That's 27,000. We have uh, 14,500. Ready for number one is the obvious one to buy next. Although it does have sugar beets in it, which is something that we definitely do not want, I don't think. Unless we can use a vintage sugar beet harvester, which actually, 
4D Modding has very kindly sent me one recently, so uh, I could use that. That would be absolutely perfect. Oh wow, look at that. Soybeans, which we have in the shed just there. Colonia, which I believe is the train, is currently offering £4,000 for 1,000 litres, and that is just blown way above what the best price has been. Uh, June is the time, so that is incredible. Okay, we'll put the grass mowing on hold for now. We have some serious money to make. Yeah, I can't believe all this time I've been playing FS22 and I still don't have the mod which allows you to switch off that zooming in where the camera zooms in. I haven't actually seen it, so I'm not too sure if it exists for 22, but I had it running, well, in every game before this, and I do like it because I don't like the way it zooms in like that. I prefer just to have a fixed position, otherwise it goes a bit crazy. Maybe it's the game telling me to be more realistic and play from first person view. <laughs> Possibly. But no, I need to be able to uh, get a better view of it. There we go. And then just a little bit over there. And then we're done. So that's 74%. So it's not much, but as the price is so good, this will probably generate quite a bit of money for us. Fantastic. And before I forget, let's grab this trailer and we'll tip it. Actually, we can probably sell this trailer because we have a front loader and a bucket now. So yeah, we could just hopefully feed them directly from the bucket. We won't get a massive amount of money for the trailer, but it was something. Okay, so there we go. It took a bit. Always good to keep it topped up. Because if we get super busy, then I might forget. And we really need to keep on top of the egg production. Oh. Oh no. I knocked the mower over. Right. So the price actually is still increasing a bit. Unbelievably. For soybeans. Has it gone up any more? It has actually. It's still moving pretty fast. Right. Okay. So yeah, we'll take it over there. But then we can come back and we can put the mower onto the John Deere because they always mow with the small tractor. We'll get it mowed and then we'll check and see if it's peaked. And if it has, we can request the train and then sell it. It is only 1,746 litres, but as I said, at that sort of price, that's going to be really good. That's just going to help us so much. We'll be getting much closer to being able to afford another field. As soon as we have more fields, we're going to be uh, just increasing the money we make. Here we are. This is going to be a very, very big tip. <laughs> yeah, not quite. There we go. Right, so on to our John Deere 710. parts over here. Uh, trying to block the windrower though, we're going to need it. Dig out the mower which I have knocked over accidentally. Oh dear, oh dear, that's not good. That's better. Oh yeah, no straw bales, they should probably be sold because I just can't see any reason to keep them. On this map, we're going to be keeping sheep and chickens. Uh, we're probably not going to have any cows. Certainly not yet, anyway. Should we have cows? I don't think we really have space. Maybe a long time in the future we could have cows. But by then, we'll be able to harvest more fields, like this one here, in fact, and get more straw. So we might as well just get the money for them make money from everything that we possibly can do. So, yeah, technically we should be leaving this field anyway, once it's been cut, for the top layer of the grass to dry, before we tear it, mix it all up, and dry the other side. And I do, of course, need to find a tether which we can afford. The windrow is fine, we've got that. We don't own it, it is a, 
a rented item. But we don't have a tether. Okay, right, it's going to be nice and easy to do this. I've done it before many times, so sit back and relax and watch the grass being mowed. close to the end. So it's now three o'clock in the afternoon. We have passed quite a bit of time whilst doing that. So it will be very interesting to see what the price is now like. Um, it probably is me getting a bit greedy there since the price was already so much better than it was expected to be. But when you can see the price going up so rapidly, uh, it would seem, I guess, a bit silly not to uh, pass the time a bit. Maximize those profits. Let's take a look. Wow. Yes, it was definitely worth it. It's now 4,218 for a thousand litres. That is just unbelievable. That is just mind-blowing how good that is. So yes, it is still going up, but I think that is worth it. We'll take that price. That is still considerably higher than what it was this morning. So that's the field done. Uh, looking good. We can now start to bake in the sun. It's June sunshine. And I think it would be good also to empty that trailer and then take the eggs in the trailer, then sell the trailer. Okay, it does have to be folded up, okay. It's possibly why it kept falling over. Um, but yeah, there we go. The price for eggs is still increasing. Transpol has almost taken over, not quite. Where is Transpol? Oh, at the top there. Uh, whereas the bakery is further down. It's there, isn't it? I must have it, yes, I've got it switched off. That's the bakery. So we'll leave the eggs just until we know exactly what's happening. This is the chicken feed. So that can be emptied there. Okay, it wants me to keep moving forwards. I think the chickens will get through this pretty quickly. And then this is now ready to take the eggs when we're ready. But first, over to here. I did find out uh, once, when I did this last time that I had to go onto the line pretty much to get around. Otherwise you have to go on the road to get to the uh, button, which I believe is next to this hut. Somewhere here, there we go. It's 1.6 kilometers away, so it could be much worse, that's not too bad. Uh, I think last time it came from that direction, but it depends. Yeah, it just sort of passes straight through. There it is. Approaching at speed. We should be able to see, if I set my field of view to something like five, so look, there we go. <laughs> we can see it in the distance. I better stay off the line. Yeah, it's always a weird angle, isn't it, when you put a really tight foot of view, like five. As the barrier is going down. And here it is. Ready to give us some money. Hello, train. Okay, let's just put that back to normal. Jump into it. And it's in position already, that's perfect. 
soybeans. Yes, it does seem a bit crazy renting a train for not even 2,000 litres, but that's just the sort of farm that we're running here. That sort of angle is like the uh, box art for a train game, a train simulator. Just looks dramatic. So that is, I think, the last level crossing, and then it's going to throw us out, and we'll get paid. Somewhere here, yep. Perfect. So we got 7,377, which means we almost have 22,000 pounds. That is fantastic. So the question is, do we sell the eggs now as well? Ah, Transpolis Peaks. Which means the bakery is still the best. Uh, 3736. We can get more, but I think we're pretty much as good as we can get for June. It's going to be higher in November. So, yeah, we'll sell the eggs. Uh, question is, how do we load them? Do I have a pallet fork? I don't think I do. It's something we need to invest in. Because I know we can pick them up by hand in uh, multiplayer. I could use super strength. Maybe I should do. It's not... Yeah, I think that'll be alright. Okay. Take this one as well. I think I've already used super strength on this series. Perfect. And we will sell the trailer. I just hope that we can successfully feed the chickens uh, using the bucket. We should be able to. I can't see any issues there. So yeah, the bakery, just down the road. 3736 as opposed to 3712. Every pound counts. And here we are. Oh, that was... Uh, I was, <laughs> was going to drive down where the pedestrians are supposed to go. Well... I did go into the trigger a bit. Right, so we're in the trigger. Oh, that one is uh, a little bit higher. But that was, well, more than 4,000 because, well, more than 5,000. We finished with 28,000. Very good. That's really good. And yeah, we could keep this trailer for transporting egg pallets. That's the thing. How much is it actually worth? If it's not worth anything, it's worth keeping. Do that again. Hmm. Yeah, it's, we could get over two thousand if we took it to the store. It's not terrible. We could actually purchase a new field. Okay, I won't rush into it. I will keep hold of it. Everyone driving past will be thinking, "Oh wow, look at that farmer! He's got a brand new Matthew Ferguson. He's doing well for himself." Well, we do have a brand new Matthew Ferguson, but. <laughs> It's not ours. Although it will be one day. That is the plan, at least. So, yeah, we've got these straw bales. Going to keep waiting for that grass to dry. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yes, we'll tether the grass and windrow it and bale it and stuff next time. We need to buy a baler, if we can. I think I'm going to keep an eye out for, like, a, a cheap round baler. Old round baler. If one exists in our price range. I'm not too sure if it does. So that can go there, we'll bring this tractor back, we'll throw the bells in, and we'll sell the bells. That's the plan. And I'm pleased that we can now use this trailer successfully. Uh, the only reason why we couldn't do it before is because the combine was too low. But now with the massive Ferguson's auger, that's so high. That can reach into pretty much any trailer. And then we have the question of, do we sell the sheep's wool, which I think actually might go to the same place as the straw. So that would be a worthwhile trip. Oh yeah, the price is decreasing. Yes, oh, it's going to really go down. So that can go as well. We're going to do so well this episode, making money, which makes a change. I think we are getting very close to buying a new field. Right, so this will take a while, I'll jump cut, because I'm going to have to keep throwing them all in, 
and don't be fooled by the amount, it's still not going to be worth much at all. But, it is something. And it will make a lot more space. It was neatly stacked, but yes, if you've been watching this series, you'll know that I had a bit of an accident. It involved super strength, the door, and the cultivator. Right, I think a couple might have gone over. Just rapidly loading. Any more in there? Nope, okay, that's looking good. Just the pile of uh, grain. Okay, that was more than a couple. Whoopsie. Well, we can easily throw them in. There we go. Right, let's make some money. Mostly from the wall. But there is money to be made from the bales as well. Hopefully we don't lose any en route. They look like they are getting comfortable. They can wiggle around, find a good comfortable position to sit in. And here we are. Yeah, I seem to remember that the wall goes around the other side. So probably only the straw will go here. Unless I'm mistaken, but yeah, it looks like so far only the straw is selling. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. I'm trying to pick up this one. Put it vertically, there we go. So we've got a bit of money in from those bales. But now for the bigger chunk, just here. Lovely, 4,134. So now you can really see the progress. We're pretty much at 34,000. That is great. So that does guarantee that we can buy our next field. I just think, yeah, at this stage, I don't really want to be harvesting sugar beet on that sort of scale. Field number one is not tiny compared to what we used to. I would be much happier harvesting a smaller sugar beet field. So hopefully, between this day and the next day, the person who owns that field will harvest the crop and put a new crop in, but you never know. We could always go with a different field. If anybody has any recommendations, then please do feel free to comment down below. We're home. So we'll park just here and I'll have a quick look at the map. Field number one just makes sense because as you can see, we own these two. We own this one here. Uh, so, yeah, that being right there makes perfect sense. When I do this, it turns into fill number 10, but yeah, it's fill number one. But then we could also go somewhere else. We can't afford fill number three, fill number 12, no. Yeah, that one is the obvious one to go with. We could buy the yard at 15,000, this neighboring yard. But would it be a waste of money? Possibly. I think uh, the doors might open once we own it. That would be my guess. Because we can't open them now, but then... Yeah, we don't own it. So <laughs> you wouldn't tend to just walk into other people's land. So should we buy this yard? £15,000? No land. I think I would like to buy it. But I think, yeah, I'd also prefer to go with a field first this field. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.